Cadet Savage, Cadet Taylor. Do I have Taylor? Cadet Thomas. Fine. Cadet Washington. Right? You're going to think about that today, right? Probably. Right? 
So what do you, what I'm do still you, thinking about it right now. Right? You're not going to forget it now. Oh. Because now, which, which way does parallel go? Show me. Show me. Come on. Do a roll back. <laughs> oh, why can't we do this? Do parallel lines touch? No. 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 So what do you think we're going to talk about today? Parallel lines. Or? Perpendicular. Yes. And yes. if you look at the first page in your packet right now, take a look. How many equations did I give you for each question? Two. Two. So what do you think these lines are going to end up doing? Just take a guess. They could be parallel. Or what else do you think might happen? They're going to they're gonna intersect. What, what do you think is important about intersecting lines? Does anybody have any idea what that's called when they intersect at that x? Do you know what that x is called? Yeah? Do you know what it's actually called? Like the real math term. Close. It's close. It's three words. It's three words. You know what that it's called from those? Point of so close. Point of, it does start with an I. Perfect. Thank you. Point of intersection. Awesome. Good job. So that's what we're going to talk about today. All right. While I transfer over to this, you've graphed lines already, yes? Yeah. Cool. Somebody raise your hand and tell me, anything you know about graphing a line, what do, you, what do I need in order to graph a line? Ooh. Ooh. Yes, the points need to be connected to make a line. What else do you need to know? You need numbers, but specifically, which numbers do you need in order to graph a line? There's two things that you need to know in order to graph a line. I need an x and y. What else do I need? Think. What is the equation of a line, your favorite equation, the formula for a line? Y equals m x plus b. Do you remember that? Yes. Does anybody remember what m stands for? starting point. Oh. What's the M? The, oh. the slope. Yes. Do you guys remember slope? Yes. Okay, when I'm graphing slope, which way do I go? First. Up, down, left, right, where am I headed? Oh. I am. If it's positive, if it's negative, where am I headed? Down. down. Good. After I head up and down, where do I go? Left or right. Which way do you generally go? To the right. Good. All right. So, good job remembering that. Let's start. When we graph a solution to a system of linear equations, the answer is always, it's called a point, but it's also known as an ordered pair. Ordered pair. You know it as a point, also known as an ordered pair. Everyone has this paper. looking to find where these lines intersect, just like our robot intersected. Remember, X marks the spot? We want to find out what that intersection point is, or where that X is. Let me know if I'm going too fast at all. Okay, remind me again. What is the formula for finding a line? Favorite formula, we just talked about it. Mm -hmm. Y equals MX plus B, perfect. Do you remember this at all? Does this ring a bell? Yes. Y equals MX plus B? Yeah. All right, we're gonna graph each equation on the Same coordinate grid. Because remember, we want to have one line going this way, one line going this way, so that they cross. Isaiah, do you need something to write with? I don't have a pen. Uh -oh. 
Am I going too fast? Are we okay? Can everybody see him? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay. okay. I'm going to go off script. Ready? I'm known to do that. So don't you just start with number one? Mm -hmm. Guess what? Uh -huh. Not today. Why do you think I might have started with this one instead of number one? What's the Perfect. difference? Look at, look at this one. Look at this one. What, what, what is the huge difference between these two right here? Exactly. What do these two both start with right here? Y equals. What did we just say up here? We had to make sure. What did step one say right there? Get each equation into Y equals. So do you see how Y skipped to number two? Let's start easy. They're already in Y equals. So you guys remember this formula, y equals mx plus b. And somebody had told me that m stands for the slope, and b stands for the intercept. So reminder, just in case you forgot, M is always, your slope is always right in front of the X. So whatever number is in front of that X, that is your slope. See how I'm matching that up? See how negative 5 fifth thirds is right in front of that X? So next to that, I'm going to write that my slope is negative 5 thirds. I have a question for you. Can you look up here real quick? Where is this thing right here? It's a negative sign. Where do negatives live? Okay, do they perfect. go up here or down here? Do they make them both negative? Where, where does this go? They make them both negative, but it doesn't matter where they Not quite. It has a home. It does. The number is correct. Half zero. So this little negative sign here, when it's in front of a fraction, it doesn't mean that they're both negative. If they wanted them both negative, you'd have a negative here and a negative here. Those negative signs live upstairs in that numerator. So do you see how I'm even going to write it like that? It's important to know why I did that. What did you, you remember that slope means to do? What does it stand for? Two R words. Which way do I go first? Oh, rise over run. Good, rise over run. Now, do you see how this first number is negative? If it's negative, am I gonna rise or am I gonna run down? Not run down, go down. Correct. So that's why I needed to know that that number, that negative was only on the top because where am I gonna go for the three? Which direction? It's a run. Which way does run go? Down. Oh, I thought that was over It's okay, it's okay. Going to the right. Is anybody confused where I got negative five thirds from? Or where I got my directions from? Okay. What then does this beautiful three over here tell me to do? It is the y-intercept. It is called your b. B you want to think of as the close. Where do we start? What is the start called that starts with a B? When you start, you're starting at the? Beginning. Hey, oh, see what I did there? Yeah, it's the beginning. 
Now listen, it's also called the y-intercept because I'm going to begin on the y-intercept. Let me see what I'm doing here. It's a pretty face. It's all connected. Go on your y-axis. Oh, shoot. We should probably know which one's y. Up and down. So I'm leaving the label. I'm going to label it so I make sure I don't mess it up. I'm going to label this one x. So we just discussed B is our beginning. It is our starting point. And it says that we have to start on the y-axis. This B is a positive. So where is a positive 3 on the y-axis here? Correct. Can anybody tell me what is this starting point here called? It actually has a name. Do you know? It is the origin. Very good. Zero, zero. So you always start here. If your B is positive, head up. If your B is negative, which way would you have gone? Down. Good. So we're going to put a big giant dot on three, because that is my starting point. Boom. We just began. Now, here's where this comes into play. This now tells us where we're going to move from this purple or green dot. I don't know colors clearly. Mm -hmm. All right, five is negative. If I am negative, where am I going? I am going to go down how many? And then which way am I going to go from there? Right. To the right how many? Three times. So now put your pencil or pen on your dot. Now when I'm counting, this is really important. Oh, check out this little tool I got here. Check it out. When I'm counting, I want you to notice I'm not counting here. You see how that, that doesn't make sense? When I'm counting, I have to count. I have to count. See where the lines are? That's one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to go to the right three. Do you see how I'm going to count right on where those little squares are right there? So that's where my point. That's where my point's going to go. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Boom. So I counted down five and right three. Should I stop there? No. No, because can I do it again? So now, let me make this a different color just for giggles here. For my red dot, where am I going to go again? One, two, three, four, five, and to the right three. Right three. Boom, I'm going to put another dot there. <laughs> Uh, one last question before we connect this. Um, look at here. Do I have enough room to no. keep going? No. Mm -mm. But don't I have some space up here? Yeah. But I can't count down five and right three. You do the opposite. Good. So what's the opposite of down five? Up five. And the opposite of right three is? Five. Okay, so now back to my original green dot. Let's <coughs> count up five and now to the left three. Do you see how that's going to nicely line up? Am I going too fast? No, no. Okay, now, I want to introduce something to you before you connect that. Ready? This is a brand new thing. Okay, ready? This. Ready for this? This is called a ruler. It is not. Wait, no, no. Wait for it. Ready? It's not a drumstick. It's not a back scratcher. It's not a helicopter. It's not a weapon. It is a ruler. What is the only job of a ruler? And to use it as a straight line. I'm going to pass this out to you because you have to make straight lines when it comes to the regions. If I see you doing any of those other above things, you're going to lose your privilege of said ruler. Capiche? Cool. Here you go. Pass them back. <coughs> One, two, three, four. Okay, well, I don't think you're going to really, really reach there. I'm sorry, I can't count. I'll try again. Thank you, Dr. Richards. Yep. We need any more over there? Yeah, yeah one. I couldn't count. Well, it's fine. I teach math sometimes. You know, I'm a little upset that oh, nobody maybe noticed my shirt. I love your shirt. It's a good shirt. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wore it just for you. <laughs> <laughs> it is not this. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. All 
All right, let's check out my straight line. Here's my ruler, ready? Bud's light here said. Yeah. To infinity and, and beyond. beyond. Okay, now, are we done with this problem, Daniel? Um, <laughs> no, we are done. No. What? Is it not here? No, he's not here. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. But let you put there. Let's 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 let you put there. All right, so listen, I'm not done yet, okay? <coughs> Why am I not done? I gotta do the second one. I gotta do the second one. All right, ready? Let's play all around the world here. Remember my favorite formula, Y equals MX plus B? I need two things to graph this, correct? I need an M and I need a B. That's who I need today. Hey, Dad Edwards, could you please give me what this M is right now? One over three. Correct, one over three is absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. um, could that bird it? Could you please tell me what the B is? Yes. Just don't forget this one. Negative three. So. All right, um, Cadet Peters, could you please tell me which one of these numbers do I begin with? Um, negative three. That is correct. So I'm going to go to my handy dandy little graph that I already have right here. Cadet Peters just told me that I am going to start at negative three. However, it is negative. That means I will be starting where? Down. What was this point called again that I always look at first? Origin. The origin. And where am I going? Down. Down. Down how many? Three. Three. Um, I would prefer that we wait for passes until after I finish this last one. Thank you. Where am I going to go now? This is my slope. Up one over three. three. Correct. Do you see how there are no negatives here? Yes, ma'am. So up one and to the left. My left. Because it's a positive. But it's positive. Which way does positive go? Right. To the right. Oh. To the right of three. All right. So you're going to put your little pencil right here and tell me again where am I going? To the right. Not first. Up. Up. One. And then? Over. Which way? To the right. Oh, what, hap what happened? Didn't I already have a point there? Oh my god, it was like magic. It's like I planned that or something. Up one, right three. See, I'm gonna keep going. Um, you're taking this Regents, right? Super important that you're super precise on here. It has to be correct. So should I just oop, draw a line right now and call the day? No. Mm -mm. What, geez, too blank, right? Yeah. Don't go up and right. What's backwards? Down and left. Down and left. So I'm gonna keep going. Dr. Richards, am I going too fast? Nope. Got it. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. Yes. All right. So we're gonna get our handy dandy ruler out, right? And what am I gonna see on the ends of each one of your lines? Arrows. Correct. Because that is never, ever, ever going to end. Correct. <clears throat> now, on the regions, this would be a wonderful four-point question. Okay. It will give you points for graphing the lines. It will give you points for the answer. But it also will give you a point if you label your lines. It's part of the points. So this purple line, the first line that I drew, which equation did that belong to? The first one. OK, so next to your purple, or, or my purple line, you have to take this equation and write it right next to it. It's called labeling your line. It actually is a point on the exam. 
And then I'm going to label the second one next to it as well. So I kind of heard what she just said, and she took the words right out of my mouth right now. Um, I, I want to show you something right now. If I were to label something, let's just say right here. Take a look at this. If I threw a label right here, and this was not color-coded, okay, let's pretend it wasn't color-coded, could you tell which line that I really was trying to label there? So do you see how when I labeled them, I labeled them so that it was very clear which line was which? So be careful where you're choosing your labels. You wanna make sure it's very clear. Okay. All right, now, listen, the entire answer to this question is right here. Is that good enough for me to just circle it and be like, oh, done? Mm -mm. You have to give it to me as a point. Now, let's review points real quick. When I write a point, it has to go in these little parentheses, correct? Do you remember what the letters are for points? X and Y. X comes first and then Y because alphabetical order, right? X then Y. So, isn't it a good thing that I labeled? Didn't I label my X and my Y up here already? So right here, let's put some numbers on here. So on this circle dot right here, what is the X number? Three. Good. Does everybody see that? It's a three. What is the Y number? Two. Good. Everybody see that right there? There is anyone that does not raise your hand. I will come and show you. But this is going to be our actual answer that we're going to write down in circle. Three negative. So the little robot we saw earlier, whoop, did you not just find X? There it is, three negative two. Okay. You know, because you know, yeah. Thank you. Intersecting. No, not happening. Okay. Just checking. Just checking. Questions on what I just said there at all. Does this look familiar at all with graphing and relabeling lines and such? Okay, now let's go back to number one. Remember I skipped this one on purpose? Yeah. Okay, so I skipped it on purpose because, what do those not look like right now? Y equals. Correct, you see how that does not look like Y equals MX plus B at all? I cannot get my M and my B if it doesn't look like Y equals MX plus B. So your job right now is we have to get this y all by itself. And right now that means that I do not care about this one. I don't care about that one right now. Don't cross it off, just don't look at it. Don't cross it off, <laughs> just kidding. so bad for it, but if you really don't care about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, poor choice of words. I just don't care about it at this moment. I'm sorry, friend. It's okay, <laughs> we'll come back. Do you wanna do this one first instead? <laughs> so, we gotta get two y alone, right? This green stuff has to get all by itself. So here's my line. If I want this green stuff all by itself, what else has to get out of there? How do I move a plus x? Subtract it. And what you do to one side? So let's do that. Let's minus an x to both sides. So that make you get a combined k because it doesn't have an x. So it's just going to be a minus x. That is like music to my ears right now. That makes me feel so great. I know, Miss Son, I got a voice of an angelist. You do. You do. Do you even know? Do you know how many times people want to tell me that that's negative 8x? Yeah. We can't do that. They don't. Well, in multiplication. Right. They don't go together. Do you see how this doesn't have an x on it and this yeah, does? Okay. They're like magnets. They don't attract each other. They don't want to go together. Don't shove them together. But, yes, one other question if you really want to make me super happy. You remember y equals mx plus b, right? So when I want to rewrite this, should if I want it to look like this, should I put this number first, or should I put this negative x first? Anybody confused why I wrote it like that? Wow. 
I look like Rai Kozar with Kofia? No. Mm -hmm. Something's still over there that I can't get rid of. Okay, so there's this two that out in the front. However, what is it being attached with? Wow. Yes. Do you see a plus or minus sign in there? No. 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 That means there's multiplication. How do you want to do multiplication? Division. Okay, but what you do to one thing, so look at how I'm writing this. Do you see how I'm doing it to everything? I want to make sure I do it to absolutely everything because I can't pick and choose. I have to be in equal opportunity here. I got to do it to everything. What happens with these twos? They cancel. Bye. What imaginary number is the No. You got this. I, I, do, I, I mean, do. we're good. We're good. <laughs> you all know that there's always an imaginary one hanging out in front of an X, right? Mm -hmm. When there's no number there. Actually, it's what kind of number this time? Negative. Technically, it's negative, right? Because we learned earlier today, where do negatives always live? On, on top. On top in the numerator. So really, what number am I going to write right here? Negative 1 over 2X. Good. Negative negative one over two, and then next to it, I'm gonna put my X. Somebody quick divide for me, A divided by two? Oh, oh four. Great. Hey, doesn't that look like what I need right now to grab? Oh, look at you guys go. All right, cool. So now I have it looking like Y equals MX plus B. So let's play again. Um, Cadet Bartram, could you tell me what M is this time? It's in front of the X. What do we have right in front of our X? What's in front of our X? Other one. Other side. Okay. Summer, help her out. You got it? You got it? What is it? Help her up. What's right in front of X? Oh, Sadie, help her up. What is it? Negative one over two. Negative one over two. Do you, do you see X right here? Oh, I meant in front, not behind. So what is slope again? Negative one over two. Good. Okay. All right. B. Um, let me see. Could I have burden? What's B? Start. Here's my M. So what's my B? Four. Correct. Good. All right. I am ready to graph this. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Cadet, um, I'm gonna, what number am I going to start with? That's where I'm going to count. Where do I got to put my first dot, though? No, I know. Right? Four. Go. Woo. His voice traveled. Ooh. Ooh. Remember, we got to start at the origin. That smack dab in the middle. And then, which one of those is our beginning? That big one? No. Do you want to <laughs> All right, help him out. What, do you, what is it? Four. Four. Are we starting? Four. Oh, you start at the origin, you go up four. Okay. Let's see how easy the beginning. <laughs> Okay. But you were right. You do look you're at right. the origin and then you go up to B. You're correct. So we're going up because it's positive. In agreement, everyone? Yes, no? Yeah. Okay. Now where am I going to go? Up or down? I need to know. Down. Down. Why down? <laughs> am I going down and to the left? No, no. Why not? Because the two and the positive. Good. Remember that negative. Where is it only living? Uh -huh. On top. So we're going to go down and to the right. Everybody ready to count? Mm -hmm. Here we go. From my red dot, I am going to head down one, right two. Let's go. And I'm going to keep going until I run out of space. But then I have to count backwards, right? Okay. So for backwards, where am I going to go? Up one. I don't know what, yeah, there it is. I don't know what over means. you got to tell me what direction. Mm -hmm. Left. I'm 
serious. You say move over. Okay, move over which way? Don't forget your ruler. It has one job. Whoops. Oh. also put on there right now so I don't forget. The label. Good. When we label it, we should try to use what is typed on the paper, only because if you wrote it wrong, we don't want to label it wrong. So do you see I'm using the equation that's typed on, on the paper already? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, Cadet LZ80. It's time that we don't ignore our other friend. My best friend. The best friend is back. <laughs> You revived him? Mm -hmm. Am I going too fast? Does anybody need more time to grab? So we're all set? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I need it to look like Y equals M X plus B, right? Mm -hmm. It does not look like that, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, so that means I need to start getting this alone. So what am I going to have to get out of there to move to the other side? What I do to one side? Okay. Be careful. These X's are gone, yes? Mm -hmm. But what is left here? Be careful. Negative two. Yes. Do you remember negatives have feelings too? You can't just leave them off. Do you see how it's still there? Yeah. It has to come down with you because, right, we can't we can't forget about any part of your best friend. Okay? <laughs> also, we are most definitely not writing negative four X here either. What are we writing? Equals negative, negative x plus four. Because remember, we want to put our x up first and then our number because I need slope first. Do I look like how I'm supposed to? Yeah. Mm -mm. What's still there that needs to go? Okay. Now. Divide absolutely everything, right? right? Everything. So I want to see everything get divided by a negative two right now. Don't leave anything off because remember, we're not in the business of leaving people out, right? What happens with these two negatives? They're gone. So I have my y equals here. Um, let's see. Uh, that one says we didn't talk yet today. What um do two negatives always give you? Voice moves. Two negatives. What did that always give you? Correct. And what imaginary number is living right there that you just don't see? But not negative anymore, because then we just say two negatives make a. So what number am I actually going to write right here now? One over two. You see, I can leave those negatives off because two negatives make a positive. What's four divided by negative two? Two. Negative two. Do you remember that talk we had about? Leaving off negatives, they have feelings too. Yeah, you just um, hurt, hurt the negatives. <laughs> okay, Ooh. my bad, my bad. See, I'm getting so excited right now. I'm about to graph. All right, now I have it looking like y equals mx plus b, right? So I'm ready to get my two things, right? All right, Cadet Buchanan, what is my slope? Which one's m? Yep, one half, perfect, very good. All right, and I need my B. What's your B again? Got it. What's your B? Negative. Yep, negative two. Okay. Where am I starting this? <coughs> it's negative. negative two. So where do I have to go? The origin. We're going to the origin, but we're going where? Down. We gotta go down too. All right, here we go, ready? Going down to negative two, boom, there is my dot. Isn't that a beautiful dot? It's so beautiful. Where am I now going to go? Careful. 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 What? Let's talk to Mr. Peterson. Where am I going? Down one, left two. Okay. What do you see? Remember? Didn't we get rid of two negatives? Two negatives make positive. So actually, where am I going to go? Correct. 
Up one right two, up one right two, up one right two. Oh, look at what happened. Do you see how I'm also going backwards though? Instead of up and right, I'm going down and left. And I'm using my ruler for a ruler purpose. And I'm remembering that I have to label this, right? And I'm also remembering that what was the entire purpose of graphing these two lines on the same graph? Why did I just do this? To find our x and y of where the lines did what? What the robot do today? Intersected. Intersected. So now I need the answer to this question. If you forget this part, you missed the answer. Isn't that where they intersected? Yeah. Okay, which letter do you have to give me first? X. X. So remember, here's my X. What number is this on? Let's count from here. Two, One, two, six. three, four, five. I agree, six. And I went up one. one. So, no, point, point, six, one. You have to give me the X and then the Y. Remember, slope is where you write it up and down. Point is the goes left and right. The six is the Y. What is the six? The six is your X. The six is your X. You gotta go X and then Y. Oh. So when you write a point, it's opposite of slope. How'd you feel about this today? Awesome. That was great. Good. So great. You're gonna remember that robot today, right? Oh. Robot finding points of intersection. Yeah. Okay, tomorrow when you come in, you're gonna have a fun treat. Yeah. I'm gonna show you how to do this on the calculator. And we're going to talk about what happens when the lines are parallel, okay? Here's what I need you to do, because we are leaving in two minutes. Are you listening? Not really. No, you're going to listen. Remember we talked about this? No, like she said, we're Do you see? Do you see how these are numbered? I want you to quickly come up. I want you to hand me your ruler. I want you to put your calculator in the correct spot. And then I want you to find your chair. Ready, set, go. Don't forget your weeklies. Weeklies, 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 weeklies. Why do we have to go? Get going. You want to go on time? Let's go. We're not going. We don't want to go. No, no, no. You're going to go. I know. You're having so much fun in math. You don't want to go. Me neither.